Sureshwari. In this video, I am going to explain how the temperature coefficient of resistance of a copper coil is determined. The temperature coefficient describes the relative change of a physical property that is associated with a given change in temperature. The resistance change factor per degree Celsius of temperature change is called the temperature coefficient of resistance. This factor is represented by the Greek lowercase letter alpha. A positive coefficient for a material means that its resistance increases with an increase in temperature. Conductors like metals have positive temperature coefficient of resistance. That is resistance increases with increase in temperature. Insulators have negative temperature coefficient of resistance. That is the resistance decreases with increase in temperature. The temperature coefficient of resistance is determined by measuring the resistance values over an appropriate temperature range. The aim of this experiment is to determine the temperature coefficient of resistance of a copper coil. In this experiment, the resistance of a copper coil is determined from room temperature to near boiling temperature. Let me explain the apparatus used in this experiment. Potentiometer. It is a simple device used to measure the electrical potentials. The potential drop across a segment of a wire of uniform cross section carrying a constant current is directly proportional to its length. Its ends are indicated by A and B. It has 10 wires and the length of each is 1 meter. Key or switch. It is an electrical component that can connect or disconnect the conducting path in an electrical circuit. When the key is in the on position, the circuit is said to be closed and the current flows throughout the circuit. Battery eliminator. Battery is a source of energy which provides a voltage to get the current flowing in the circuit. DPDT or six-way key. DPDT is a double pole double throw switch which is equivalent to two single pole double throw switches can be used to connect two circuits at the same time. Resistance box. Resistance box contains the resistors of different values. It is used to control the specific value of current to flow through the circuit. Copper coil. The copper coil is placed in a glass envelope. In this experiment, we are going to determine the temperature coefficient of resistance of this copper coil. Rheostat. Rheostat is an adjustable resistor used to provide variable resistance and is used for current control. Galvanometer. Galvanometer is an instrument that can detect and measure small amounts of current in an electrical circuit. It is used in the potentiometer to indicate the null deflection or zero current. Jockey. Jockey is a metal rod with an N as knife edge. It is used to measure the potential difference when voltmeter or galvanometer is connected. High resistance. Connecting wires. Connecting wires are used to connect the components of a circuit. Thermometer. Thermometer is used to measure the temperature. Electric heater. Heater is used to heat up the water. Connections are made as shown in the circuit diagram. First. The end A of the potentiometer is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Negative terminal of the battery is connected to key. The other end of key is connected to end B of the potentiometer. Then end A of the potentiometer is connected with the positive center terminal of the DPDT key. The negative center terminal of DPDT key is connected to high resistance, high resistance to galvanometer, galvanometer to jockey. Then a pair of DPDT key is connected with the resistance box R. A pair of DPDT key is connected with the copper coil X. 
and then the positive terminal of another battery is connected to the resistance box R. The negative terminal is connected with the key. Other end of the key is connected to the variable end of the rheostat. The lower end of the rheostat is connected to the coil. After make, making the connections, the battery is switched off. After making the connections, the batteries are switched on. Now the experiment is performed at two different temperatures. First we are doing the experiment at room temperature. Now uh, the jackie is pressed on the potentiometer. The galvanometer shows double side deflections. Then we ensure that the connections are correct. By using the DPDT switch, now the resistance box is included in the circuit. And there are some value is introduced in the resistance box. Here we include a resistance value of 9 ohm. Now the jackie is slide over the potentiometer until the galvanometer shows null deflection. So now when the galvanometer shows null deflection, this is the balancing point of the potentiometer. Now we can measure the balancing length and it is denoted as L1. Next we have to include the copper coil by using this DPDT switch. Again we have to measure the balancing length of the potentiometer. And it is denoted as L2. Now we are uh, repeating this uh, experiment by varying the values in the resistance box. And the readings are tabulated. The resistance of the coil at the room temperature can be calculated by using the formula X1 is equal to R into L2 by L1. We have to repeat the experiment at boiling temperature. Now the copper coil is dipped in a water bath. And the water bath water is heated by using this electric heater. After reaching the boiling point, we can repeat the experiment by changing the value of resistances. And the balancing length is measured for both the resistance box as well as the copper coil and it is uh, denoted as L1 and L2. Hence, uh, the resistance of the copper coil at the boiling point can be calculated by using the formula X2 is equal x2 is equal to r into l2 by l1 then the temperature coefficient of resistance of the copper coil can be calculated by using the formula alpha is equal to x2 minus x1 divided by x1 t2 minus x2 t1 by substituting the values we can calculate the value of alpha as 0.0039 per degree celsius so the temperature coefficient of resistance of the copper coil determined by using this experiment is 0 0.003995 degree celsius i hope you have understand how to calculate the temperature coefficient of resistance of copper coil using potentiometer thank you for watching